Welcome to Going to the Dogs, and I'm Donna Clausen, and I have a special guest with me today, and this is Kay Satterfite. She's going to help me make dog treats. Now, dog treats are wonderful if you use them right. I had a veterinarian say it shouldn't be over a tenth of your dog's diet, so don't plan on feeding 20 dog treats to your dog at, at once. But a healthy dog treat is, is a really good thing. And what we're going to fix today is a dog treat that if you wanted to eat it, you can eat it too. You can just eat it right along with your dog. All right, I'm using whole wheat flour, and this takes uh, one to one and a half cups, and I used about one and a half cups. Uh, this is one cup of wheat germ, and wheat germ, it says it's an excellent source of vitamin E and folic acid. All right, one egg. Okay, and good, my oven's hot. One egg, one jar of baby food. And that's why I named this one Old Baby Dog Treats. Okay, so here's our gross looking baby food. But it has protein and it'll be good for your dog. So we're gonna stir this up. And then we also need a little bit of baking soda. And this is a half a teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay? Now, this is where the fun kind of comes in because you then you can choose some things that your dog likes. Like my d dogs like uh, parsley, and parsley is kind of nice for their breath. And you're not taking it to the fair, so you can kind of just sprinkle some in there. And just for a little bit of fun, I add a little bacon bits. And once again, you can put anything, you can just do it plain or you can do some add-ins like I'm doing. Uh, you know, there's chicken seasoning, there's garlic salt, there's lots of things that you can put in. Okay, now all we have to do is stir it up. Okay, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. And that was about a half a cup. All right. Now we have our baby food, our egg, wheat germ flour, baking soda, baking powder, and just some things that your dog likes. This gonna, mixture's gonna be pretty dry. And truthfully, that's a little bit too dry. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more water in there. You can always put it in, but you can't take it out. All right. Okay, now, the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna pour it out over here on this board, and we're going to knead it for just a quick minute. Roll it to one-fourth inch. Well, when you're, if you're baking uh, these treats, uh, if you want them crispy, you're gonna bake them for about 25 minutes. You can even turn the oven off and just let them stay in there so they're real crunchy. If you want them softer, uh, do it about 20 minutes, take them out of the oven. And it kind of depends on your dog. Okay, that looks good about, okay, that looks fine. All right, now, let's see, why don't we just do these? Sure. Okay, our, they'll come out. You can get all kinds of cookie cutters, all kinds, but you see how cute that comes out? It's dry, it's not very wet, and your dogs will love it. Another thing you can do after you get them out of the oven, while they're still hot, uh, you can sprinkle just a little bit of garlic salt on the top of them. Your dogs love that. Another thing, after they cool, uh, those uh, carob, that's not chocolate, Ch dogs aren't supposed to eat chocolate, but the carob chips, you can melt some in the microwave and then kind of dip a corner. I'll show you what that looks like. Just kind of dip a corner in there. Okay, we're gonna stick these in the oven and we'll be right back. All right, well we're back. We have our tasty little treats and you see how they get kind of plump. Now these, uh, we did those and they're pretty, they're pretty crispy. Uh, some of them that we did are a little bit chewier for Gracie 
And I wanted to show you how you can use these chips and melt them in the microwave. It just takes a very few, and you, I just for an extra special treat, just dip it in there for the dogs. Uh, I kind of went wild with this one. But it's just something good. Uh, you could, like I said, you can sprinkle the garlic salt on it or if there's another, something that your dogs like. And like the baby food, you can use a can of sweet potatoes, you, the baby food size sweet potatoes. You can use any kind of the baby food meat. It's just kind of a fun thing to do. And it's, it's pretty healthy for your dog because they're good. Thanks. See you next time.